Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters. Allah will be with you. Inshallah, we continue with verse 48 from Surah Al-Baqarah, where Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Wattaqu yom la tajzi nafsun an nafsin shay'a, wala yuqbal minha shafa'at, wala yuqhad minha adil, wala hum yunsarun." So, in the previous verse, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala was reminding Bani Israel of His blessings upon them. And in this verse, it's a warning. And as I mentioned before, that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uses both uh, mercy and punishment to bring people, to, and also the love, as we said in the story of the of the bird. So here, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is warning them. Now he he gave them the blessing. He reminded them of the blessing, and then he says, "What And fear a day. La tajzi nafsun an nafsin shay'a on which no soul will be able to help another soul. In Surah Luqman, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ya ladina, taqu rab, ya taqu la an wa huwa an shay'a. Uh, fear Allah and fear a day on which a father will not be able to help his son and a son will not be able to help his father in any way. And Allah says, yawma yafirru al-mar'u min akhi. In Surah Abasa, Surah Abu says, "Yom yifromar min akhi wa ummi wa abi." On that day, a human will run away from his father, from his brother, from his mother. So on that day, nobody cares about anyone except themselves. Everybody says, "Nafsi, nafsi, myself, myself," except our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who will be saying, "Ummati, ummati, my nation, my nation." So Allah is warning them of that day, and He says, "Wa la yuqabalu minha shafaatun," and no intercession will be accepted. And we know in Surah, uh, in Surah Al-Baqarah and Ayat Al-Kursi, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Man the ladhi yashfa indahu illa bi idnih." That no one can intercede with Allah except by permission of Allah. So Allah will give permission to certain people for intercession. And intercession means that someone bleed pleads on behalf of someone else. Like we know, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will ask Allah on behalf of us to forgive us and to protect us from Jahannam and to send us to Jannah and also Shafa'at to Bad al-Hisab, the intercession to start the Hisab, the judgment. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا يُؤْخَذُ مِنْهَا عَدْلٌ On that day, no ransom will be accepted. And Adlun here is ransom. So no ransom will be accepted. And in Surah Al-Zumur, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, uh, that those who disbelieve uh, if they had everything on earth, every wealth, every treasure, every gold, every silver, and then double of that with it, they would pay all of it to protect themselves from the severe punishment on the Day of Judgment. SubhanAllah, if you go to someone in this life and ask them to give charity, sometimes people don't want to give even a dollar, sometimes people don't want to give a hundred, etc. But on that day, if they had everything on earth, double that, they will be willing to give all of it to protect themselves from the punishment of that day. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا هُمْ يُنصَرُونَ And they will have no protectors. Allah grant us the ability to do as many good deeds as possible. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.